if you notice, we've got two active monitors, and these are beautiful high-definition monitors in color. This lets the operator see to the back of the streetcar. We also have uh, regular rear-view mirrors. Over here, we have a GFI, a GenFair, fare box, and this also lets people use smart cards to go ahead and pay their fare. You can swipe a credit card, but you can use good old-fashioned cash. There is some very prominent ventilation ducting along the side here, and then also here in the ceiling as well. These are the original lighting type fixtures, but we're using an LED element. You can see the external platform for the wheelchair lift, and this is how it'll come out, drop down to the curb. Wheelchairs or non-ambulatory uh, patrons will step in on that. It'll lift up and meet up with the top stairs, and it'll be able to just go right into the streetcar with no issues. There is a passenger stop request strip so that if you can't reach this pull cord, push that, and that'll alert the operator that they want to get off at the next stop. These devices are for bicycles, and so yes, we want to make sure everybody gets a chance to use uh, El Paso streetcar uh, in a variety of different ways. This is a Wi-Fi access point completely integrated into the vehicle and allows anybody on board to access free Wi-Fi. We've got cameras all over the vehicle for the passenger's protection. So these cameras can see in a multitude of different locations. Uh, they're high definition and they're color and we record whatever it is that these cameras pick up. The technicians and craftsmen here at Brookville did a remarkable job of taking a number of items and upgrading them to 21st century standards and conveniences.